Hey plant gang, Zinnia elegans, or Zinnia X in some cases, but we're talking about Zinnias and hybrid Zinnias, an annual plant that is very popular, in particular, for cut flowers in the home landscape. Uh, now in old-fashioned traditional gardens, Zinnias would be grown specifically for cut flowers to bring into the house. But in recent years, we've had great breeding of zinnias and there have been more, what I would call landscape zinnias that have come out onto the market. Here I'm standing in front of a nice group of what I would call landscape zinnias uh, that really are bringing a lot of color to the landscape. And one thing that's really nice about new breeding of zinnias and the new varieties of zinnias that are available on the market is that when a, a flower fades and goes away, the new flower is always grown higher up on top of the old one. And so old fashioned zinnias, you would have to, if you were not bringing them inside for cut flowers, you would have to trim them off, deadhead them. Uh, but a lot of the new landscape zinnias, the new flowers grow up above the old flowers. And so it masks it, it hides it. And so you don't have to do a lot of the maintenance of deadheading. And so that's what breeders are looking for in a lot of cases. Now color patterns, oranges, yellows, purples, pinks, whites. There's a variety of different colors of zinnias and you want to plan accordingly. The homeowner can grow zinnias from seed very quickly uh, in the home landscape and get plants growing uh, very quickly that can be blooming in the summer landscape. One of the mistakes people make oftentimes is growing zinnias too early from seed in their homes and then it's just too early and so you want to wait almost as long as you can. You don't really need, need to start zinnias in, in, from seed until April and then you can come out. You can even direct sow zinnias into the home landscape. So zinnia elegans or zinnia X, uh, depending on what you're looking for, a classic asteraceae flower with, uh, with the ray flowers on the outside, a great annual for the home landscape. So zinnia a member of the Asteraceae family. that You can clue in on the foliage. It's typically oppositely arranged, ovate to slightly elliptical. Uh, really a plant that is an annual seed grown for the full sun, annual border, the annual bed, six to 36 inches high, eight to 12 inches wide. Again, a tender annual. They can be impacted by Japanese beetles, aphids, a few mites, but the number one problem with zinnias in general is powdery mildew. Now you can combat this by giving them good air circulation, uh, planting them a little bit further apart if that's a, a big problem for you. Uh, but one of the best things you can do is look for and find powdery mildew resistant cultivars. And there are several out there that are rated as powdery mildew resistant. Here's a landscape tip. Site in full sun provide excellent drainage and air circulation to help prevent powdery mildew attacks without fungicides.